Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Support and Resistance Series, Lesson 4 different high and low types and the most powerful ones lesson 1 on 2 in this lesson you will learn extreme level principle horizontal ranges high and lows horizontal ranges pivot points first part concept of extreme levels starting from the 15 minute chart I would say but higher time frame like the daily chart will be definitely better. In a ranging market type, we consider the level at the extreme tops and bottom more likely to reverse. Let's look at an example. Here is the Euro USD chart on 15 minute time frame. The principle is that the middle area of this ranging chart in crimson color is perceived as lower probability level. Then, the farther we go away from the middle of this range, the more powerful gets the level of support and resistance. So here in this screenshot, the light blue and orange are medium probability level, and the dark blue and red are good probability level of support and resistance. And we can expect a better chances of reversal, and also bigger moves occurring from those levels. Second part, highs and lows type. First, horizontal range, highs and lows. The larger is the range, the stronger will be its top and bottom. Also, the more time the price spend within it, the stronger it will be. I don't specify a pip amount, you'll see it visually. Let's see some example together. So on this chart, as you can see, we have a quite tight range with little body candles which also mean low liquidity or volume. For me, it's a sign of weakness. But on the other hand, this range is quite long. Price spent 40 candles in there. So I'll classify it as medium strength, combining the height and the duration of it. Then, if I would place a level on it, I would select the top as a future resistance because that's where I can see the strongest rejection inside this range. Another example. This is a taller range with medium sized body candle which also means medium liquidity or volume. For me it's a sign of medium strength. On the other hand, this range is not so long, price spent 28 candles in there, so I classify it as medium strength, combining the 8 and the duration of it. Then, if I would place a level on it, I would select the bottom as a future support, because that's where I can see the most strong rejection inside this range. In this specific example, we have a quite large range with big body candles, which also means high liquidity volume. For me, it's a sign of strength. Also, this range is quite long. Price spent 120 candles in there. So I classify it as a strong strength combining the 8 and the duration of it. Then, as you can see, if I would place a level on it, I would select the top as a future resistance and the bottom as a future support because both has strong rejection inside this specific range. Second point, pivot point of horizontal range. This pivot line is usually around the middle of a range and should be confirmed by attracting and rejecting price at the same point. Don't mistake it for the pivot points indicator on MetaTrader 4, this is different. Those level works as support and resistance. First, let's see how to find them. Here is a tight range and the white line is my pivot line. We have good big candle rejection as those two points. 
So price is attracted to it on those two specific ranges. And the pivot line is around the middle of this specific range. That's how you will plot it on this specific one. Another example. A bigger range. So on this one the pivot line is my white line. We have good big candle rejections. Price is attracted to it. It means it rejects but come back very soon to it. And the pivot is around the middle of the range once again. Now, for those pivots, I would take seriously only those from larger horizontal ranges. The medium and tight ranges will bring them too close from the highs and lows from me, and not enough liquidity to take them properly. Also, the more time price spent in the range, the stronger it will be. Let's see some examples. Pivot point of range, which one to take in account? In this one we have a very large range. The pivot point is perfect, showing strong rejection. I will take it in account, because of the size of the range. Second example. I'll let you guess. Well, the range is quite good in, uh, in size, the pivot line is in the middle, we can see good rejection, so obviously we take this one in account too. Other example, this one. So this one, we have a tighter range, we can see strong rejection, but the price is really attracted and we have only one actually good rejection. So since the range is very tight, I will not take this one in account. I forget this one. To summarize, concept of extreme levels. In a wide ranging market, the level at the extreme highs and lows are more powerful. Different types of highs and lows, horizontal ranges. We look at the height and the duration to define the strength of its bottom and top. Taller is the range, stronger are the top and bottom. Longer is the range, stronger are the top and bottom. So we combine those two elements to define the strength of those level. Pivot point of the range. For the level to have good rejection probability, we consider only good height and duration ranges. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. And if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market. And my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex. And IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia. And the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week, so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye.